I'm in Laguna Niguel, California, in front of Seabreeze Management, a management company that handles HOA properties all over the United States, including one called Niguel Summit. Today, we discovered that Niguel Summit has been illegally exposing their members to a combination of pesticides and herbicides without providing proper notice. So how exactly did the HOA and Seabreeze Management violate the law? According to California Civil Code 4777, associations are required to post pesticide notices either by first-class mail, personal delivery, or email if one is available. The law also states that a prominent caution label about the pesticide should be included on the notice. This wasn't done. In fact, the only notices given to residents were buried in a documents folder on the Nagel Summit website. A website which lacks a digital signature and could be blocked by some web browsers. And we did find a public notice box tucked away near the top of a hill. Many of their elderly members who wanted to see that notice would have had to have gone up a hill, across four lanes of traffic, with no crosswalk, and then go up another hill to find the unmarked box containing a single sheet of information. What toxins are actually being applied? Telstar, Lifeline, and Turflon. While their names might sound good on a marketing brief, their effects on human health and the environment are anything but. In fact, many of the symptoms of exposure to these chemicals are almost identical to COVID. Talstar is also known as bifenthrin. Its symptoms can range from nose, throat, and lung irritation to nosebleeds, shaking, seizures, numbness, and vomiting. It's also highly toxic to bees and aquatic life. What makes this even worse is that in Nugel Summit neighborhoods, the runoff drains lead to the ocean. Lifeline contains a toxin known as glufosinate. Symptoms from exposure to it can range from nausea and vomiting to amnesia, respiratory failure, and even birth defects and infertility. There are several species of disease-causing fungus that are now resistant to glufosinate. Unfortunately, the good fungus that protects plants isn't one of them. This means the use of glufosinate can have important microbiological consequences, something that many of the people in this area have already noticed. Perhaps this is why the HOA is trying to pass rules discouraging fruiting trees, a measure that's highly ironic considering Laguna Niguel is in Orange County. Turflon contains triclopyr, an irritant that can be harmful to dogs and can even affect trees and plants in nearby areas. Turflon also contains kerosene, which is linked to birth defects and is also highly flammable. Speaking of fires, according to the HOA, the Orange County Fire Department required that they remove significant amounts of vegetation from nearby slope due to a fire hazard. Is this really the area that needs to have kerosene sprayed? Removing this vegetation may have actually weakened a nearby slope and increased landslide risks. Because there's one thing Nigel Summit is also known for. A late 90s landslide that took out seven houses also under the Nigel Summit HOA's watch. But perhaps even worse than this is that these chemicals have been known to kill amphibians like frogs and insects like bees crickets, and the crown jewel of Laguna Niguel, the monarch butterfly, whose namesake, Monarch Beach, lies just down the hill from Niguel Summit. Even though monarch butterflies meet the requirements for an endangered species, there's just not enough money to put them on the list. It's also been reported that these HOAs are actually pretending to be miniature governments, allowing some people to get away with things that true governments can't. Is this why we have HOAs? These chemicals are being dispersed within feet of homes filled with children, with the elderly, with pregnant mothers, with babies. Seabreeze management properties are all over the United States. One can't help but wonder if Seabreeze management in Aliso Viejo is the headquarters for a national franchise of HOA management companies, are they getting away with this all over the country? We reached out to all of the California authorities that we could think of 
to help get this problem fixed. But the most important thing right now is to stop mission landscape, to stop sea breeze management, and to stop the Nagel Summit HOA, nonprofit company, by the way, from poisoning their members anymore. Homeowners associations are supposed to protect us, not harm us. If you have any of these symptoms, if you think you might have been exposed, please let us know. Please let your doctors know. We need your help. Contact Lisa Dale at Seabreeze Management, Isaiah Henry at Seabreeze Management, Rick Zarsky at Seabreeze Management, Jim Kozel at Nagel Summit HOA, Charlie Maskey, also in the HOA, Don Ware, Rod Henderson, Melody Shore, Candace Fullercamp, Michael Wolf from Nagel Summit HOA, and then call Fred Miniger, Mayor of Laguna Nagel. Lori Davies, State Assembly Person for Laguna Niguel, demand that they instruct Mission Landscape Services and Skyline Pest Control to immediately stop the use of these chemicals, pledge to ban these chemicals from this area forever, and take responsibility for the well-being of their constituents who trusted them. And maybe we don't need homeowners associations anymore. Reporting for you, because nobody else will. This is Free Laguna.